So the weather outside is getting nicer. It's now March. Winter is almost over for us here in the Midwest and that means it is Ryzen season. Now, starting early last March, AMD started releasing its original Ryzen processors, which really shook up the CPU market uh, because for the first time in a long time, AMD actually had some processors on the market that were competitive, not just in a gaming space, not just in a budget space, but really across the board. The Ryzen processors do really well in a variety of different uh, use cases. So this time around, we're looking for higher IPCs, maybe not hugely higher IPCs from Ryzen 2, but we're hoping to see some IPC bumps at least, as well as slightly higher clock speeds from the refined uh, Ryzen process. Let's go ahead and look at things to consider before you decide on either Ryzen 2 or the original Ryzen processors. And let's start first off with the people that have to have the best all the time. And for you guys out there, the decision is actually really simple. Just wait another month for the Ryzen 7 chips to come out, the second generation ones, and pick those up because regardless of the price, if you're not interested in the price and you just want the best AMD chips out there, the second generation Ryzen chips will do that. The second generation chips will probably be priced at roughly what the original Ryzen chips were priced at when they first launched. So expect to pay probably around the $500 mark for something like a 2800X if they have the 2800X. I haven't seen any leaks on that. They definitely have the 2700X though. So expect to pay original Ryzen MSRPs for the second generation chips or at least somewhere in that range. For everyone else, it's actually a little bit more of a complicated question because prices for Ryzen chips in the year that they've been out have actually come down quite a bit. For example, the 1700X launched at $399. You can readily get it on Amazon now for just under $300 at $297, which is a big drop in price. And if you are looking for the best bang for your buck, the old Ryzen chips may still outperform the new Ryzen chips in the price to performance ratio that is so important. So to give you some sort of reference, the 1700X has shed about 26% of its original price tag going from 399 down to $297. So the real question here is whether the second generation Ryzen chips will give you a big enough of a performance gain to justify bumping that cost back up to the original MSRP, if that's what AMD is going to do with the prices. Now the Ryzen 5 chips have come down in price, but not quite as drastically. For example, the Ryzen 5 1600 retailed originally at $219. Now you can find it on Amazon for $189. That's shedding about 14% of its original price tag and makes it a little bit easier for AMD to justify bumping the price point back to the 220 ish dollar range if that's what they're doing with the pricing. Now the reason all of this matters for gamers especially is because you can take the money that you're saving by getting an original Ryzen processor and reinvest that into other components in the system to get you up in gaming. Things like a graphics card or even memory. Taking the graphics card market into consideration which is really really expensive you will get much better gaming bang for your buck if you can step up your graphics card than by stepping up your processor. And also, unless you have a very high refresh rate monitor, these Ryzen chips, these original Ryzen chips are going to be able to drive your monitor at 60 FPS easily. So unless you have a 100, 144, or even a 200 Hertz monitor, depending on what games you're playing, uh, you may just be better off getting the cheaper of the two processors being the original Ryzen processors than the brand new one and reinvest that money as a gamer into something that matters more in gaming like a graphics card. Now for those of you that are interested in productivity tasks that require a strong CPU, the second generation Ryzen chips are definitely easier to uh, pull the trigger on because you're not worried about saving extra money to put in a beefy gaming graphics card. You probably want to have some graphics card in most of these uh, productivity tasks, but if it's a CPU intensive task, get the better processor and uh, be happy with that. And the last thing to look at when considering Ryzen versus Ryzen 2 is the launch date. Ryzen 2 does not launch until April. If you remember last year, Ryzen 7 actually launched in early March and then Ryzen 5 came out in April. So there was a month gap. Now AMD has not clarified this specifically, but because AMD announced that Ryzen 2 would be launching in April, I'm hoping what they meant by that is that the Ryzen 7, Ryzen 5, and Ryzen 3 SKUs would all be launching in April. Though if 
they follow the pattern of a staggered launch like they did last year, then there is a chance that we may have to wait for Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 3 either later on in April or maybe even into May. So hopefully AMD has all of its ducks in a row. It definitely looks like this isn't as rushed of a launch this time around as the original Ryzen 7 launch was. So hopefully they're all together in April. But if you're looking for a system now, obviously Ryzen 2 is not quite available. So you would have to stick with Ryzen if you need a system right now. But if you're willing to wait for another month, then Ryzen 2 is definitely a legitimate option. Now, obviously the purpose of this video is not to tell you whether you should go with the original Ryzen or should go with Ryzen 2. Obviously that's impossible for me to say because we just don't have enough information on Ryzen 2 yet to be able to make firm recommendations. These are just some things to start thinking about if you are in the market to be building a PC or maybe you're looking to upgrade an older system and you're coming from like an older Intel system or maybe even older FX generation processors from AMD. These are just things to start putting into your brain so when Ryzen 2 information does start coming out probably next month is when you'll see pretty much all of it especially the official reviews you can start to consider these things and really make an informed consumer decision so if you like this video uh, give it a like share subscribe and comment down below and let me know what you're expecting from Ryzen 2 and whether you think it may be the right processors for you or are you gonna stick with the original Ryzen or maybe even go something else like Intel let me know down below you can also follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. They are the same tag for your convenience. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.